Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today, I'm extremely happy to be doing my personal review of the brand new limited edition bottle, Paris Hilton's Eris Limited Edition. So the box looks like this this time, and is a little bit different from its predecessor. So I have the um, original one next to me. So the original one was a little bit thinner, um, and it had the slip case on it. So if you pull the slip case off, it said Paris Hilton up the side, and then it said Eris down here on the bottom, Eau de Power Pump Spray with 3.4 ounce. So this time they kind of changed it, and now it says Paris Hilton, let's get the right box in front of you guys. It says Paris Hilton Eris on the side here like this, and then on the bottom it says Eau de or Limited Edition Eau de Power Pump Spray Vaporizer 3.4 ounce 100 milliliters. On the side we have a picture of the bottle, on the back we have kind of a promo shoot of the ad, without the fun background behind it. So, as you guys can see back here, um, this is like a the ad, kind of, sort of. The original ad that got put out was kind of cut off right about here, and down here it says Eris Limited Edition. I edited this out myself and put Eris Limited Edition up here and like extended out the background and everything. So this is my own edit that I made um, just to kind of extend out the bottle and make it more of a widescreen format for my personal use. So. There's that. And, of course, the bottle is different. So, the bottle is the biggest thing we're going to talk about because the composition of the actual fragrance did not change any. So, the bottle looks like this. And it is the same bottle that um, Anniversary Edition was done in. Except for now, it's red crystals instead of silver crystals. So, on top here, it says, if I can get the camera just to focus on this. It says Paris Hilton Eris Limited Edition. The top cap is studded in rhinestones with this kind of like see-through clear here silver top silver sprayer and then the bottom is clear as well and then it just says Eris I don't even know if it says Eris limited edition yep it says Eris limited edition down there on the bottom versus the original bottle which looked like this the thing I do like about this is with this bottle my only issue with this was the fact that the, the back is like this mirrored back is like almost just like a sticker that really bothered me I wish that it would have been better done or however she wanted to do it I do like the glitter that kind of shines through the bottle and then it's clear on the side I just don't like the fact that it's just a sticker I really wish they would have continued the box or the bottle in the same shape if they were doing a limited edition that's probably like my biggest pet peeve about this is that um, they didn't carry the limited edition over with you know the same bottle shape or whatever it may be that just kind of bothers me. But there's a small possibility, and I'm not saying this because I know anything. I'm just saying there might be a small possibility that she's doing like a limited edition each year um, of her fragrances. So the only thing is, my original thought was maybe she's um, going to do a new fragrance in a limited edition each year. Except for Eris Limit, or... Anniversary Edition was released at the beginning of this year. Eris Limited Edition was released this year. Um, was actually released this month, October. Um, I actually got this um, as a birthday gift from my friend Melissa. So a huge shout out and thank you to her. She got this for me as a birthday gift. Even though my birthday is not until next month. But she knew I really, really wanted this. So she got it for me early. Um, but I'm hoping that like if she continues the line and does Limited Edition ones. And... You guys know how I am. You guys know I like to do my perfume edits and whatnot. So I made this, which I don't even know if that's showing up very well on camera. It's not. It's super not. Let's see if I can get it to zoom in for you guys so you guys can, like, see better. Ugh. Well, let's go back a little bit. Okay, so I made these two bottles, which are... Can Can and Tease Limited Editions, um, just using that same bottle and using the bottle color or kind of font color that was used with the previous bottles. So Can Can being pink, Tease being purple. I kind of like the idea of her doing a whole limited edition line as long as she does what happened with the anniversary edition and where they were um, a little bit different. So, back to me. Not zooming in on me. Okay. So, 
with this, um, my only issue is that the composition ch stayed exactly the same. In the Anniversary Edition, it's a little bit more deeper and seductive than the previous. It wasn't a huge difference, but um, it did kind of give that a uh, little bit deeper and different version from the original. So, with this one, like I said, the composition is still exactly the same. Um, your top notes are... Um, passion fruit, orange, peach, mimosa, and champagne. Middle notes are star jasmine, tahir flower, ylang ylang. Can never say that word correctly. Um, honeysuckle and dewberry, and um, gardenia. And base notes are violet, leaf, vetiver, tonka bean, and white wood. Um, so, so, like I said, the, the composition is exactly the same. When you first spray it, you get that kind of burst of like this um, champagne-y, peachy kind of opening. You've got a little bit of that passion fruit and the orange blossom kind of, or the orange kind of playing a little bit in there, but mostly I get that champagne-y, peach um, opening. Um, the mimosa kind of helps with that. Um, as it kind of goes down a little bit, you get, I really get the jasmine, the tahir flower, kind of in the, it's the same original. It's just a very light effervescent um, the champagne's really that kind of standout note. As you get to the base, um, you really get the violet, like, the violet kind of plays a little bit in there. Vetiver is kind of there. It's not super strong. Um, but definitely the tonk bean and the white woods are, like, the standout notes of the base. The standout notes of this entire fragrance are probably, in my opinion, the passion fruit, the champagne, um, and me, like, the champagne, the raspberry, um, the mimosa and like champ like the champagne I am just rambling now, sorry. Champagne, mimosa, raspberry, and passion fruit are in my opinion are very like standout notes of this fragrance. Um, with kind of like a woody tonka bean vanilla y base. It doesn't smell like vanilla, but tonka bean has that like little bit of vanilla ness to it that kinda of softens out the bottom of the fragrance. It's very light and very effervescent. It's actually one of my favorite Paris Hilton perfumes, and I'm very glad I got this because even though the fragrance hasn't changed any, I'm very glad I have this because for some reason my Aeris bottle like leaks. Like I don't know, it doesn't spray very well. Like I don't even know if I can get it to. Yeah, see, it doesn't spray. Like and when it does, it like just. And now it's gonna leak for like two days because I just did all that. I'm not sure why it does that. Um, I've had the bottle for a little bit. So I don't know if it's just the bottle. If I need a new bottle, I'll probably end up getting a new bottle just so I have a bottle that actually sprays. But at least I have this for now that gives me the Aeris scent. So, um, a lot of people did say that Aeris, or that another perfume that came out last year, I believe, smelled very similar to Aeris, and I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but right up there is Stormflower by Cheryl Cole, Cheryl Fernandez, however you want to call her. Um, that does, in a way, smell similar to Storm, or to Aeris, um, but it's a little bit different still. So, um, lasting power is probably about six hours. Lasting power for me didn't really change from the original. Um, I know I don't think I ever did a, a review of the original. So, the best time to wear it is springtime. Um, very daytime -y scent, very fun and playful. Um, I do like that the ad changed this time and that the, you know, she grew up a little bit and showed that she grew up and whatever. Um, but... Honestly, I would like her con to continue to do limited edition bottles as long as we're getting a new fragrance in the mix as well and that she's only doing it every 10 years because, like, 2016 is technically the 10-year anniversary of Eris. So, there's that. Um, I really want her to, like, do a Can-Can one and, a t like, a... I, just, I only really want Can-Can, Tease, Dazzle, Fairy Dust, and Siren. That would be it. Like... After that, I don't think she should do any more, um, but we'll see what she does. Um, the only issue I have besides that with this bottle is the fact that, like, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Yeah, here we go. Is the red rhinestones on here, and it's the same issue I had with the original one, is these are basically just like a, a sticker on the bottle that's wrapped around. I wish it was a little more expensive or however else they could have done it besides like you know doing whatever I mean 
you can get the original Eris bottle for like 10 bucks, 15 bucks, 20 bucks, depending where you shop. So, in my opinion, going and getting a $65 bottle of Eris limited edition, you're buying it for the bottle, and I really wish that they would have done something more with the bottle to make it feel more realistic and not so, like, because it kind of does feel cheap, um, but at the same time, it's very well presented. I just wish that that sticker, like, I can always almost, when I'm holding it, feel the sticker line. And that's the only thing that bothers me. I just wish there wasn't a sticker line. I wish it was kind of seamless. But I guess with manufacturing things the way they're manufactured, that's kind of an inevitable thing to happen. So, it is what it is. Anyway, so, there you guys go. There is my review of Eris Limited Edition by Paris Hilton. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Go ahead, and the last video I did on my channel, um, yeah, the last one before, the one before that was my perfume collection. If you guys want to go back and watch that video and request any perfumes that you have not seen me review yet, I will be sure to do that. Um, also, on top of my um, birthday present, because this was one birthday present from my friend Melissa, I also got the... Um, 007 fragrance, 007 for women. I also got the Christina Aguilera Royal Desire, and I also, I don't know if you guys can see it, if I'm moving my big fat head, you might be able to. Um, back here, oh, if I move my head this way, okay, so back there, right there, is I moved my Justin Bieber shelf. So if you looked at my collection video, my Justin Bieber shelf was behind where I filmed back here. Um, I kind of swapped it with my Juicy Couture shelf. So back there now is my one is my uh, Justin Bieber collection, and she also got me the uh, Justin Bieber girlfriend and someday set. So right now at Kohl's and Sears there is a uh, limited edition. I don't know if it's limited edition or not. It's a holiday set, so like a limited holiday set of someday and uh, girlfriend in a hundred mils each. They it's like a the box is up there, but it's like a box that's like this big. And it has Someday and Girlfriend 100 mils inside, and they're both in our original boxes. So it's really cool because I didn't like I had the original Someday and the original Girlfriend, but I bought them in gift sets. So it was really nice to have. Um, I got she got me that set so I would have the boxes because you guys know I have Perfume OCD and need boxes to complete collections. So we're not even gonna get that's a whole separate video of like. Perfume boxes I need to make my collection where I want it. So, anyways, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A that's Perfume, and Instagram, I'm on the Stars Perfume. The links are in the description below. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. Hopefully, you don't hit the thumbs down because that would make me sad. So, anyway, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Bye.